As the kids head out trick-or-treating tomorrow, gargoyles, ghouls, and goblins might not be the only thing parents want to look out for. The laws differ greatly in Kansas and Missouri when it comes to sex offenders. Fox 4's Dave DeMarco's in Kansas where there are few restrictions on sex offenders during Halloween. That's in stark contrast to Missouri. In Kansas, it's up to parents who don't want their kids trick-or-treating at a sex offender's home to plan ahead. Under Missouri law since 2008, on Halloween night, registered sex offenders cannot go outside to interact with children or have outside lights on and are required to post a sign stating no candy or treats are available at the home. We asked parents at a Lenexa neighborhood Halloween event tonight, to be clear that was not hosted by a sex offender, if they knew about Kansas' rules. Oh, like no. About, no. Nope. Didn't know there are were there rules such about rules. that? In Kansas, there's no such law. Registered sex offenders who are not on active parole or probation with specific Halloween restrictions are free to pass out candy and decorate their homes. They also can wear costumes and attend any Halloween festival. Honestly, I've never really thought about it around here. Just figure if something was out there about that, we probably would have heard about it. Missourians can find registered sex offenders on the State Highway Patrol's website. Kansas, you can find where registered sex offenders are in your neighborhood on the Kansas Bureau of Investigations website. And your address or zip code where you're trick-or-treating and sex offenders and their addresses will come up in map and list form. We checked out five houses of sex offenders in Lenox and Shawnee, and while none had elaborate Halloween decorations, two had jack-o'-lanterns on the porch. And KBI offers these additional tips. Be with younger children at all times. Have those teens go in groups and check in with parents frequently and don't let kids go into houses of people you don't know. Working for you in Johnson County, Dave DeMarco, Fox 4 News.